All right. Hello, hello. This is Tracy Pierce. Thanks for joining me here today. It looks like we've still got some people kind of logging on. Hi, Riley. Um, so I just got the ping from my animal friends to offer these series of mini free animal communication sessions. And things have just been kind of lining up. And you now we're living in strange times with this pandemic. And it seems our animal friends want to share some things with us. So those of us who are, those of you who are joining me live, if you have questions for Godiva or Nettle, which is our goat friends who we're going to be talking with today, go ahead and type them into the chat box. Um, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and pull, grow the picture of Godiva and Nettle up here so you can see who I'm talking with. All right, so it looks like we've got Kate on the line too. That is possibly um, Godiva and Nettle's goat mom. So we'll see if she's gonna uh, get logged on and has any questions or anything. So, all right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start going inside and connecting with Godiva and Nettle, seeing which one of these goat friends would like to come forward first. Yeah, I do feel like Godiva coming forward first. She's the one that's in the, the foreground with more brown. <clears throat> Her energy feels very, I want to call it horizontal, like it spreads. There's this sort of um, deep, groundedness in the earth that she is holding. Um, I really feel her energy just kind of spreads out in this horizontal fashion. Hi Godiva, thanks for connecting with me today. Are there, is there anything you'd like to share with um, folks about what's going on in the world today or what's up with you or what do you want to tell us about Godiva? It's kind of up to you. <clears throat> well, she keeps showing me this horizontal spreading energy. Could you say more about that, Godiva? I, I'm not sure I understand. <coughs> Yeah, she keeps showing this horizontal energy spreading and it's spreading. She's showing like the whole earth, it's spreading through the whole earth. What is this layer about Godiva? It's the interconnectedness, she says. So I'm not talking about how the virus spreads, although it could be looked at that way, she says, but what I'm really showing is um, through what's happening, we are becoming more aware of how interconnected we are. In this pandemic, she's showing this layer that's spreading almost like, you might hear my dog jingling in the back here, <laughs> making some noise, but. She's showing it as um, a particular level of consciousness that we're all kind of plugging into right now. Godiva, as I tune into this, like there's something that feels to me kind of heavy about what you're showing me. It is, is there something you want to say about that? Or um, like, do you feel like this layer of that everybody's plugging into is good? Or I, I guess I'm not totally clear. Could you help me? Yeah, it feels more like this layer that um, she's showing people are plugging into is 
there's a lot around fear actually yeah i start to feel like kind of hazy and like it's almost like there's this pressure on my eyes that feels heavy and you know like it's almost like a wet blanket or i just want to like curl up and sleep Yeah, Godiva is indicating this is the layer that people are plugging into, and it is creating a lot of fear. And um, yeah, she's showing just how like laughter can be contagious, fear can also be contagious. So I feel something kind of shift and then start to feel more clear. Godiva is, are you, it feels like you're showing me how to plug into a different layer or something. Um, can you tell me what you're doing? Yeah, she's showing how like down here there's, um, when we're always focused on really down here kind of things, that's where we are more likely to plug into all that fear. Um, what Godiva is showing me is like there's a way of, um, she's almost like she's showing this layer of fear and there's a way of connecting above higher. Yeah, she's indicating that if, if you're someone who feels a lot of fear about what's happening in this pandemic and everything, that it's likely that you're plugging into this particular layer. It's like an emotional layer. Um, yeah, she's showing it like a group mentality. And she says, I see it in my herd too. I'm not plugging into the fear, but how like as a herd, we all kind of plug into this same energetics place and that allows us to move together as a group. So the same thing is true when humans plug into this layer of fear, she says. That's why I want you all to go higher. Like if you feel yourself falling into a place of fear, you can stop and pause and then, yeah, she's showing it's almost like, like if your awareness is here above your head to like pull it up higher, Okay, some people might have trouble with that, Godiva. Um, you know, like some people don't feel energies above their head so much. Um, do you have any thoughts for them? They can still go higher, um, she, she says. Like it's not so much about necessarily people needing to have all kinds of um, understanding about um, particular energies above or anything. It's just a matter of taking your energy higher, she says. Okay, we can certainly ask people to try that. I, I know I've um, felt that around me. Like, uh, like when I go out and sometimes the people around me, I, it's almost like, you know how laughter is contagious, how fear can be contagious as well. Godiva, any other words of wisdom for you, from you? Yeah, it's just saying, you know, generally humans are pretty unconscious about what kind of emotions they might be plugging into. Like we kind of walk around and we're, we're pulled this way and we're pulled that way and we don't necessarily know um, or we don't notice it. It's just kind of our normal way. And she's showing us standing kind of as a pillar of light. Um, being centered in yourself when you have to leave your house. Yeah, Godiva is saying, you know, things haven't changed all that much for her where she lives. There weren't very many humans around anyway. She notices a little bit of anxiety. Um, maybe a little bit more than normal in the humans that are around her sometimes, but 
overall her life hasn't changed very much as a result of what's happening in the world. Is there more you want to share with us, Gadeva? She's kind of laughing at me. She's like, I know you want to talk to metal too. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally willing to listen to whatever you, whatever else you might want to share with us though. Um, the diaper. Okay, I guess, I guess Nettle can have her turn now. So I'm tuning into the, the other goat in the background then. When I tune into metal, it almost feels like her energy is a bit, I want to say lower or closer to the ground. She's some, showing me something in her belly that's really full and solid. Yeah, she keeps showing me, um, again, belly and this fullness there. Um, it's almost like a, a balloon that's, that's blowing up, uh, not a balloon, but like a, like a rubber ball. And then it's, it's solid and round and um, there's a hardiness to it almost. Yeah, she's asking people to be more grounded in their bellies. That's interesting because Godiva is saying go higher. And um, nettles really pointing towards the groundedness, the belliness. Um, tell me more, nettle. Like, what's happening for you? Or, you know, what do you want to tell us? It's up to you. She's saying she's actually feeling a little bit more calm since this has all happened. Like, um, she's showing me, you know, how the stock market was going up, 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 up. The chart was just, there's like, she's showing when everything was going on this um, level where everything's, you know, measured by the economy and everything's measured by how productive people are, that that actually created some tension or like grasping kind of feeling in her belly as that was all happening. And, you know, she, she's showing me it's more like things are smoothed out on this more horizontal plane. And she's showing like that's the, the human kind of energy rather than always pointing up, trying to get more, going higher, going higher. There's this kind of leveling out, this relaxation that she feels um, possible for humans through this, uh, what's happening in the world today. Wow, that's really interesting, Nettle. I wonder um, if you could say more about that. I, I just, I think it's really interesting that, you know, Godiva is pointing to the fear, but you're also, you're saying there's this extra relaxation happening. Well, Godiva and I have different opinions on things, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. Um, So I'm actually hearing a lot of um, sounds right now, and it feels like Nettle's comparing. So this upward momentum, the economy's booming, people are super productive. I actually hear these like multiple levels of dissonant sounds happening in the background there. And then um, as Nettle is showing like what's happening now with the more flat line, horizontal feeling, um, what I hear is more harmonious chords and um, like instead of things being dissonant, they're actually harmonious. 
Mm. And that'll showing this is an opportunity for us to be more in harmony with ourselves, with each other, with the earth. Wow. Actually, I've never had an animal plug me into music in this way before. This is really fascinating to me at all. Um, yeah, she, it's almost like she's showing me this writing of a symphony or masterpiece opera or something that's happening throughout this layer of people relaxing and coming to more of a um, a, a grounded state or a state of not always needing to go up and more like there's I wish there was a way for me to actually let you hear the sounds that I'm hearing right now um, but it is just like this this beautiful um, very harmonious symphony that's kind of unfolding according to metal And I start to get this feeling of almost being, it's like washed by the music. There's a sense of water kind of coming in and I just get this sense of layers of unhelpful stuff in my own life, uh, emotional body, if you want to call it that, kind of washing away through this layer. It's an interesting metal because um, I almost feel like you're directing us to tune in lower. You know how Godiva was pointing out this layer of fear that people are plugging into and she's saying go above. It almost feels to me, metal like this layer that you're highlighting is lower or underneath the fear. Would that seem accurate to you? She says yes. Um, so she wants to counter Godiva's point, actually. And she's saying, you know, maybe some people it's fine. It's easy for them to go high above this fear energy. Like some people have a lot of awareness about, uh, about energies above their head. But for most of us that, you know, she says, Godiva is really good at that. She's, she's kind of a high, um, high flying kind of goat. But for me, it's more, I am more like lower at this lower, uh, more earthy kind of level. So, it, so Natal, it sounds like if people are, what you're saying is if people are plugging into that fear, maybe they can pull their energy a little bit lower and, and be more focused on <clears throat> what's happening kind of at a, maybe a heart level or a belly level. Is that, is that accurate, what, what I said there, Nettle, what you're trying to express? Yeah, she says that would be accurate. And one way that people can do that is by getting more in touch with their bodies, especially like their bellies and down. Um, we tend to not be aware of energies in our bellies too much. We're more in our heads, is what Nettle says. So if we can, it's funny, he's echoing. Actually, these goats belong to the, the same gal who we, when we talked to Toby and Blue uh, earlier this week, and um, Nettle's kind of pointing back to something that the cat said earlier with stomping your feet and really getting into the lower half of your body can really help. Thank you, Nettle. That, that, that does help. And uh, I'm kind of keeping my eye on the time here. And I realize we're about to the end of 20 minutes, which I wanted to keep these 
um, recordings to about 20 minutes or less. So good diver or nettle, I just want to check in and see if there's anything else that you want to share with us or if people online, if you want to type in the chat box if you have any final questions for um, nettle or good diver. Okay, Kate just says, you're, you're right on. They're very different goats. Nettle really hates grasping energy, and Godiva is all about going into bliss. <laughs> Great, thanks, Kate. Well, they're, they're just both um, hoping that Kate can come out and visit them uh, sometime soon-ish. You know, they really like it when, they, when you come out to visit Kate. I think you know that. <laughs> All right, she's coming today and tomorrow. Sounds like a diamond metal, so she'll definitely see you. And go, go to use Riley says, thank you. Thank you for sharing your wisdom with us. So thank you so much. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the screen share here. All right, so this has been a really fun project for me to just talk with a bunch of animals about what's happening in the world today and what they wanna share with us. So. Thank you so much to, to those of us, um, those of you who joined me live. And I'm gonna keep doing these for the foreseeable future. So if you yourself have an animal who you think might like to share 10 or 20 minutes of animal wisdom with us, go ahead and send me a message and we'll try to get you hooked up. Um, I guess that's all for now. And until next time, take care and be well. <laughs>